Hi, and welcome to another Telehealth Information video. I'm Garvin, and this video is on Arbagio. Arbagio is a disease-modifying treatment, or DMT, for relapsing and remitting MS. You have fewer relapses than you might have had with no treatment, and any relapses you do have should be less severe. In clinical trials, people taking Arbagio had in the range of 30% fewer relapses than people taking a placebo. In clinical trials, MRI scans showed people taking Abagio had fewer, smaller or no areas of active MS lesions. Abagio also slows down the buildup of disability associated with MS. So what is Abagio used for? It's used for re relapsing, remitting multiple sclerosis in adults. And how does it work? Abagio tablets contain the active ingredient terifluonamide, which is a type of medicine called an immunomodulator. Abagio is used to treat multiple sclerosis or MS in some people. This disease follows a course of relapse and remission where symptoms worsen for a while, then improve before worsening again. The symptoms of MS arise as a result of damage to the protective coating of the nerves called the myelin sheet. The damage is caused by inflammation in the central nervous system and it stops the damaged nerve cells from working properly. It's not fully understood how Abagio works in multiple sclerosis because the disease and its cause are not fully understood. However, it is taught to help to reduce the frequency and severity of relapses by lowering the number of lymphocytes in the central nervous system and lymphocytes are responsible for causing inflammation. Abagio reduces the multiplication of lymphocytes which limits the inflammation and damage that they can cause to nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. Abagio helps to reduce the frequency and severity of relapses. It doesn't cure the disease. So how do you take Abagio? Abagio tablets can be taken with or without food. The usual dose is one tablet taken once a day with a glass of water. You can take your tablet at any time of day. However, if, if you always take your tablet at the same time each day, it will help you remember it. If you forget to take a tablet, you should just take your next dose as usual the following day. Don't take a double dose to make up for a missed dose. The medicine is taken every day on a regular basis until your doctor decides for you to stop. You use with caution Abagio in people over 65 years of age, people who drink large amounts of alcohol, people with liver disease, people with high blood pressure, people with a history of tuberculosis infection. And it's not to be used in people whose immune system have a decreased ability to fight infection and disease such as AIDS or immunodeficiency syndromes or treatments with medicines such as chemotherapy or immunosuppressants <coughs> also not to be used in people with severe active infections or long-standing infections such as hepatitis and people with low numbers of red blood cells white blood cells or platelets in their blood or problems with their bone marrow and also not to be used in people with unusually low amounts of protein in their blood for example due to kidney disorder and people with sever severely decreased liver function also not to be used in people with severely decreased kidney function who are having dialysis <clears throat> and it's also not to be used in women who could get pregnant it's not to be used in pregnancy and it's not to be used while breastfeeding People with rare hereditary problems of galactose intolerance, the lap lactose deficiency or glucose galactose malabsorption because Obagio contains lactose to the actual tablet. So the safety and effectiveness of this medicine has not been established in children and adolescents under 18 years of age. It is not recommended for this group. So the side effects of Obagio so common would be diarrhea, feeling sick, hair loss or alopecia, increased liver enzymes, flu infections, infections in the nose or throat, so sinusitis or laryngitis, infections in the lungs, so bronchitis, 
urinary tract infections such as cystitis, tooth infections, herpes, simplex infections such as cold sores, gastroenteritis, athlete's foot and low numbers of white cells in the blood which is neutropenia and rarely side effects would be inflammation of the pancreas or pancreatitis, interstitial lung disease so tell your doctor if you develop a persistent cough or breathing difficulties while you're taking this medicine. So the side effects I've outlined earlier include most of the side effects reported by the manufacturer. For more information on any other possible side effects and risks, you need to read the information leaflet provided with the medicine or talk to your doctor or consultant. So how can this medicine affect other medicines? Abagio may increase the blood levels of the following medicines as this could increase the risk of their side effects. Your doctor may need to reduce the dose of these medicines if you take them in combination with Abagio. They'd be cefachlor, etanyl estradiol, which is found in the oral contraceptive, and levonorgestrel, also it's in some oral contraceptives. Metotrexate and repalinide and rosuvastatin which is for lowering cholesterol and other statins simvastatin atorvastatin and pravastatin also also abagio may decrease the level of the following medicines in the blood and could theoretically make them less effective so duloxetine theophylline and tizanidine Abagio may decrease the anti-blood clotting effect of warfarin. Your doctor may want to check your blood clotting INR more frequently if you take this medicine with warfarin. And the following medicines may decrease the level of Abagio in the blood and could make it less effective. Carbamazepine, phenytoin, phenobarbital, rifampicin and St. John's wort. Also cholestyramine and activated charcoal can significantly decrease the blood level and effect of abagio. These medicines should not be taken in combination with abagio unless they have been specifically prescribed to speed up the removal of abagio from the body. The medicine suppresses part of the immune system, so abagio, that's how it works. So this means that vaccines may potentially be less effective if given during treatment and live vaccines could actually cause serious infections, though it has not been studied. Live vaccines should not be avoided while you're taking this medicine. And they include measles, mumps, rubella, MMR, polio, typhoid, shingles, chickenpox, BCG, yellow fever vaccines. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact us through our website, mytelehealth.info, or call into Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork, or ring us at 021 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.